Hello, hello. Welcome back to Storybook Crafts from the Alameda Free Library. Today I am very excited to present a chart activity craft based on a couple of really lovely books. This is Uma Wimple Charts Her House. Can I just tell you how excited I got about this book as soon as I saw it come in? I love charts and lists and ways to organize things. And this book by Reef Larson and Ben Gibson, oh my gosh, I just love it. It's all about a girl who loves to make charts and graphs, and all about how those things can help us organize our lives and put things into perspective and see things in different ways. And the back pages here, the end pages of the book, have some examples of different kinds of charts. We've got a pie chart, a bar chart, a Venn diagram, a pyramid chart, a map, a pizza pie chart here, and here's her examples of some of those, and of course, a tree chart. So there's different ways you can make charts. Well, the way I decided, oh, of course, the other book that this is inspired by. This is Our House by Hyewon Yoon. I love this story too. And it's all about how a house kind of grows with the family and a family grows with the house. Beautiful, beautiful books. Um, we're gonna make a chart today. And here's the chart that I got inspired to make. It's a rainbow. How can a rainbow be a chart? Well, I sort of put some thought into how you can organize different things. And like I said before, I love lists, I love charts too, and I love all those other examples. I wanted to make a chart of the library. You can make a chart of your house, of your classroom, <coughs> excuse me, of your, <coughs> your room, your closet, your kitchen, um, your car, your family, your friends, you can make charts about all kinds of things. You can make charts about your collections. Do you have a pencil sharpener collection? Make a chart about it. Um, and think about some interesting and unique ways to document those things, organize those things. So I thought of a rainbow for the library because, well, it's a, the library is a happy place um, and rainbows remind me of happiness and new beginnings and the rainbow, uh, the library is uh, a place for new beginnings and to broaden your horizons. So I thought it was fitting, but it's also an easy way to organize things sort of in a list. So as you can see on my chart here, I've got the title, Alameda Free Library in the Clouds. And in some little raindrops here, I've got computers, seeds, maps, and tools, all things that the library lends or gives to other people. Uh, mostly lends. <clears throat> In the case of seeds, we give them. We've got books, of course, books, 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 magazines and newspapers, music, movies, Games and puzzles, story times, read aloud, crafts, puppets, puppet shows rather, authors. We have community, of course, as a community gathering place. We even have museum passes. And of course, it's quiet in the library. So I've got quiet on there too. So it's an interesting way to make a chart. How will you make your chart? There's lots of different things that you could do. Start with a blank piece of paper. It's probably best for this project to find a piece of paper that is blank on both sides, but scratch paper would work too. The reason it's best to use a paper that has both sides free is perhaps I want to add to my chart at some time, at some point. So I have started my chart in pencil, and you can see that most of my rainbow is in pencil marks. I'm gonna show you how to make that rainbow in just a moment. But on the other side, some of those lines show through. So I can always expand my chart. As the library changes, I can make changes to my chart or additions to my chart. 
so your chart could be a Venn diagram, which is some circles. It could be a tree chart, so sort of like a family tree. You'd have some bubbles and some connectors and how those things all connect and link and relate to one another. Um, it could be any shape you like. Perhaps if you're charting your house, you could actually draw a grid and chart your house that way. Um, take notice of all the things inside each room and list what's in each room. So there's lots of different ways. We're gonna make our rainbow chart today. So for this, we're going to need a black felt tip pen, a pencil, and some colored pencils. That's it, don't need much more. I'm gonna start this rainbow chart, get my other piece of paper out of the way there, by folding it, folding the piece of paper in half, long ways. It doesn't have to be a very, very um, creased fold, just a simple fold in the middle. Just so that I can keep track of where my symmetry is, where my, my lines of symmetry will, will connect. So I'll start with the smallest row here of my rainbow. And I'll get them as even as possible. It does not have to be exact. But it's nice to have that fold in the middle to guide me on those curves. And let's see, I want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. This is the seventh. So now I've made that. That's two. Here's three. There's five. Notice how I'm going very slowly. Now here's six. They're getting a little skinnier as I go up. See how many we've got. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Oh, we need one more. Pink. And let's see, this last one's gonna be really skinny because I don't have a lot of room on the other side of the paper there. But that's okay. There we go. And follow that one all the way down. And there's our rainbow. Maybe you wanna chart your classroom with a rainbow. That would be really interesting. Or perhaps your, hmm, maybe all the drawers in your kitchen in your home and find out what's in each drawer and you can list what's, each, what's in each one. That would be pretty fun. Let's make the clouds here. I'm gonna make a few clouds here on the side. One there. One here. And maybe just one Poofy one, small one in the middle. All right, three clouds. I've got a few little raindrops coming down. Maybe just two. We'll do two raindrops right there and right there. And you're ready to make your chart. Once you're happy with the shape, then you can go over with your black felt tip pen. Oh, that pen doesn't work. It's always good to have a backup. Let's see, does this one work? Yep. All right. So once you're happy with the lines that you made, then you'll go over them very carefully and slowly with your black felt tip pen. Same with the words. Once you decide how to fill your chart in, what you're gonna fill it with, all those things that you are organizing into your chart, and you can go over that with black felt tip pen as well. Always go slowly and carefully. And once you've filled in the lines, then you can take a good eraser, one of these, and go in and just gently erase those pencil lines. And when you are ready to expand your chart, flip it over and some of those lines show through so you can trace them 
and you can do more on the other side. I can't wait to see what things you are going to organize in your chart, what things you're going to start recording and counting and taking notice of. Have fun with your charts. See you next time. Bye-bye.